Alrighty, let's play this here. There's no sound. Play this once. Let's play this twice. It's short. And all right. And there is also this. Bit of reference here from the side. It's interesting to see on that camera shake there. Cool, cool, cool. All right. And then here is. Let me bring this up here a bit. That is what's playing in the corner of the original. Now, um, you're saying that this is an exercise, because I was going to say, maybe do not replicate something that's already in a movie. You might argue that's a shot that I can just use anywhere. But let's take a look at this again. So if we get away from the reference, because you got the motion there, it's got the steps you have to have more breakdown so you can see details when the legs and arm move so it's less twin than pose to pose you can tweak this but you got a dissipation there with his arms it's crazy how far back they go like this swinging up with the arms i think i would definitely replicate this i know we're here and we're somewhat matching although i feel like he is further back the head is a bit further back and arms are further back if you look at this, but you definitely want later on to have that swing. It's the arm that propels them up. Same thing with his leg going up here. And there's something about the jump. Let me see. I think it could work. I'm just looking at how high he jumps with that turn. I wonder if yours is too low. There's a slight feeling of it could go higher. There's a good explosion through there but then after that it seems minimal where i feel like you want to be higher so just watch out for that as you continue but again we got the contact points matching that pose fairly closely and then with your own recovery now if you go away from this let me see we'll see we'll see how this is blind i have a i feel like the ending turn and that impact needs to get tweaked a bit i mean you can see also how it's like that's a big impact on one leg boom that kicks over this side and you can see <coughs> excuse me i've been holding in that cough uh you can see how he's gonna go over there and potentially do like a step over there just kind of regain the balance and i would not discount that as you land bam on this to just kind of pop over i know this is stepped but it's one of those tricky things with step that just pops over into this so you definitely have to have enough impact compression boom and then potentially like an adjustment sidestep to being here versus that very controlled stop unless you swing this more so that here the body is a bit higher so that on impact he's a bit there meaning that just so that that swing continues on because right now it feels like it's down down stays down down and then to suddenly have that swing up might be a bit weird once you spline this that's what i'm saying what if you go away from the reference and have him go up and again like i said up higher here so that at this point he's higher because he's initiating a backward swing into this and then you probably because of that massive swing you will go back and probably lean over with that foot in the air for then on the next frame, you know, a sidestep to his left, right? So he goes boop, boop, and up and then back down. So this is up in the air, shadow back down there. I think that would be my thing. Was That's the only thing I'm kind of worried about with that end. Everything feels okay. And then suddenly, suddenly the weight and the mechanics of this feels a bit, hmm, not quite sure this will work. And also, Careful if you do a swing like this, it's almost going this way actually. That arm, it could be also cool to do boom instead of him, you know, from that impact and then immediately going up to regain balance. If he's more, he's more balanced there to do something where the arm is then here, boom, 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 going back. That arm is here, boom, 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 you know, where it's back, swing this way to then almost lead into into that offset with that arm here and then the arm goes back and the whole body goes back into my awesome scribble over there i think i will continue to uh work on that 
And here I would just do whatever you feel is right because his reference is not working because it's so late. His reaction is late and that contact is mainly hitting this. He would not go back anyway. So you have to decide, do you want to do where the character maybe is not holding this and the character is just standing there and kind of, I don't know, maybe holding something with a nice silhouette ready to strike and then bam, it hits the chest and head. So you have to kind of look at, because right now this is not quite working because this is obviously fake in terms of contact point. All right, that's kind of it from me. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.